Meteorologist Dave Warren here at CBS4. Weather control, latest advisory in at 11 o'clock. Unfortunately, the wind speeds continue to increase here. The wind now up to 180 miles an hour. It is moving west at 7 miles an hour, making that a Category 5 about to uh, make landfall there. Uh, Great Abaco Island uh, and it continues to move west with the latest track. Now, this is the new track. It just updated Monday morning, still over the northern Bahamas is a Category 5, uh, but the forecast does have it turning to the north, and this is the new track. It has retreated north just a bit, but again, that storm size, uh, we're looking at tropical storm force winds extending well out uh, from the center of the storm. Monday to Tuesday, it is still off the coast, and as it does weaken a bit uh, in intensity from a 5 to a 4, you could actually see that wind field expand. So we're looking at tropical storm force winds extending all the way to the coast or inland just a bit. By Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, moving north and turning northeast there to the Carolinas. This is the satellite picture there as the eye of the storm storms uh, continues to move to the west. It is still drifting just to the north, gaining latitude there. So as it moves farther north, even though it's moving west, uh, that'll take the uh, strongest impacts with it just to the north. Computer forecasts, they are all in very good agreement uh, that they do begin to turn to the north Monday evening. A few are just a little closer to the coast. We're watching these updates a bit. The storm could wobble a bit, and any slight change in that uh, storm location uh, could drastically change the impacts felt along the coast. A few forecasts actually keep it close to that Florida coast, even right on it, but overall the trend is to keep it just off the coast and moving off there to the northeast. Uh, now we have uh, watches and warnings. Uh, day, a tropical storm watch is now extended inland there towards Lake Okeechobee. Inland Brow or Metro Broward, coast Coastal Broward, inland Palm Beach County, uh, seeing that tropical storm watch. It does not include Miami Dade. It's pretty much right at Golden Beach, north to Deerfield Beach. That means conditions are likely that we may see tropical storm uh, conditions. There is the eye wall. That is the strongest part of the storm. Hope Sound there, this great Abaco Island, it continues to move west and actually slowing down. That is the current location. Now, watch for the wind speeds to increase throughout the day Monday. This is the likelihood that we'll see tropical storm force winds more so to the north than to the south developing Monday and then working up the coast Monday afternoon and evening. A few bands will be starting to move into the area. Could see the wind increasing. These squalls will increase throughout the day tomorrow and then tomorrow evening. The next update coming in at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Right now we're going to go back to regular programming.